Question, which one of those two was the grown-up girl dude's dude's daughter or was the little girl the dude's daughter? Or was the woman the mother or was that the guy's you know who, who was who? Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Hmm. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Dracilian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. Or was that the little girl? You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. some twigs on fire. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. Are we burning one-ups? Philemon, what the fuck are you doing here? Ow. The smoke guides them back to where they belong. To Yggdrasil's bosom. God. Each butterfly is a lost soul. And now they can all be at peace. That's a fucking slaughter! <laughs> God damn! God damn fucking massacre! You didn't die in vain, Eleanor. You saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. Goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? <gasps> oh, no. She didn't, did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Oh, if only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie, you've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor.
I'm sorry, Laria. I'm gonna need to be alone for a wee while. There's no loot up here. Let me guess, it's Heliodor's daughter. Your dad's a dick! Lady Elena. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Elena. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there! <laughs> Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Yo, guys! We got some more Heliodor punks to beat down. Take their fucking lunch money. Did they get up there? Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The Darkspawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> what shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Darkspawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. Oh, I, I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrick! Sir Hendrick! Come on. 
We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Dark spawn. There is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic! You're monologuing like a villain, just like you're... Buddy. You will evade me no longer, Dark Spawn. The chase ends here. Princess Jade? Surely not. <gasps> God damn it! I need to lose weight! I'm too No! Hold on! <clears throat> Princess! I won't let you go again. Well, hey, at least now we can use your boobs as pontoons. <sighs> oh, hey, it's that house I found earlier. So we're not that far away from the castle. How haven't they found us yet? Oh good. You're awake. <gasps> I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother, that she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dundrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river, and I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you Rab fished out of there and not me. 
After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Brab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on a battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the dark spawn Sir Hendrik Can it really have been so many years since that fateful night princess to see you alive and well You cannot imagine how much this pleases me but should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer! Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? But you don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go! You would ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Uh, yeah. 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 Impressive, princess. The spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please. I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the Darkspawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you. Yeah! Hendrik! Princess! I'm sorry. Yeah! Get on! Now hold on tight. Princess, what have you become? Oh, there's everybody. Hey, you killed the dragons while I was gone. There you both are. And in one piece, too. Just about. 
No thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? Uh, I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... I doubt he'd have told us much. Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. Uh, it wouldn't have been the first time a one's glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're going to have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. You're the luminary, after all. You were born to defeat the Dark One. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arborea tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the World Tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Well, can you see anything? Don't tell me it's a dud! If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him! He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother. I promise. <laughs> so I guess Rab's supposed to be a sage, and he can either do attack, healing, or physical, but he's not as good as a dedicated anything. So... Really? So doing the butterfly... The butterfly shower... Okay, well, if anything, stock up on fucking dragon hide while I'm here. Alright, so what do you fuckers have? Claw Spear, Fisticuffs, which I think is just a bunch of stat boosts. And then she has the sexy moves. Puff Puff. Resilience. Low Kiss. Pep Up Power Up. Charm Charm. Leg Sweep. Harvest Moon. Let's see. Max HP, Strength, Agility, Strength, Agility, Thing. Spurs. Thunder Thrust. Party Poopa. HP absorption. 
can opener. Oh, that works on mechanical. Okay. Undodgeable, unblockable, and unstoppable. Now, does that mean it will work on metal enemies? You got healing no, resist. Heavy wands, claws, and light. Let me go heavy. God damn, it's got a lot of shit. MP absorb, anti magic, MP magic might, max MP, 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 oh, wielding. I thought it said walking. Staff of salvation, minor MP recovery, magical mending, zing stick. An arcane arc that's guaranteed to revive a fallen party member. Propeller blade, dodge, attack power, dodge, dodge. MP absorption. Crit when wielding, can opener. Crit, crit. Benediction. Empathy. Praise Rain. Magical Mending, Magical Might, Magical Mending, Agility, Strength, Might, MP. The branch, it's... Yo, bitches, go find all the thingies. Oh, boy. Oh, darlings, did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs. <gasps> oh! I think I understand. We need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear. Maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all. And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was, all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. Anybody else got one they want to pull out of their ass? Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs, orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. 
can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. <laughs> oh, is that Daddy? Huh? Right then, let's get moving, shall we? The sooner we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. Wasn't Hendrik literally just down the road, like... A, maybe a two-minute jog. Right, what are you? Rab's cane. Same as Battle Fork 3. Okay, darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! What came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal, Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? Bunny ears, bunny suit, and fishnet stockings. Tch. 
Oh, the old man wants to get a heart on again. The yappier one is the bigger dog. Sounds like the old man's home from fishing. to get a double attack with that? chasing after this whole fucking time. Your crafting career starts here. Jolly brawlies, coral hairpins, and utility belts. Unfortunately, now from what I've 
red? It sounds like the ultimate key isn't until post-game, which means... Question is Lightning thrust is a better... Seven and nine. Then we can get the bath booba. I thought I was being slow. Thank you. 
Senor Roberto, so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions too, of course. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and fighting. <laughs> Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, won't ye? All right, what actual spells does he have? Mid heal squelch, the fuddle zing, de dazzle, crack crackle zam, whack, insul, insulate, zap, cathat. Okay. So he has a heal. He's got a mid heal. Attack 101, he should hit twice.
Out of curiosity. Sheer curiosity. Is the gold cup available yet? There's our pal, Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. Thank you. Mother mia. Is it him? I'll assume for a random encounter fucks with this nice music. That one. Another day, another vic- mm. And we're going to immediately be sidetracked by fog. Ugh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylph, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! Uh, Go ship! <sighs> the mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? Fuck Lapagos Island?
I found loot! There, I need, what, like two more to fill that stamp card out? What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. <gasps> oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh, ah. Oh. like that and there's no need to look so disappointed to see us try to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, it's just I thought my car was back and I got all excited. Wow. I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway, Who's this Kai you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiancé, will you take us down to see the Queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the east of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. 
Maikai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smouldering emotion. Oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs> Are you sure they hate your kind, or are they just trying to fuck you? Okay, well... South and East... And Hato... Pato's over... Unless it means to wrap around the world. I don't know. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.